uh, oh, call perfect. Uh, Soto, Soto, Soto Lamongan. Uy. Oh, uh, one of yeah, my favorite. If you have uh, laser dishes. time, please come to my dormitory. My dormitory oh. uh, in the center of Jakarta. It's near Pasar Baru mm. uh, and also Gunung Sahari in Gunung Sahari area. Oh. Okay, but you have nice. to I mean, you have to make appointment. Maybe okay. I have any other activities. If you want to come to All my right. to my dormitory, please contact me, and I will my hand will be open and my home will be open also. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Yayan. Yeah, uh, yeah, noted. Yeah, uh, your dormitory is yeah located near Pasar Baru. Yes, there Mas Baru. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it was close enough to my uh, ex workplace. Yeah. And then yeah, you have uh, five hobbies in life. Yeah. Uh, start yeah from uh, exercising. Yeah. Yeah. As you said before, yeah from running and right now swimming. Cycling, yeah, run, uh, running, swimming, cycling, and then it hopefully it keeps you healthy in in your age right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But actually, I think yeah, something important for for me today is uh, make relaxing, relaxing with my, my family. I think. Yeah, of course. Uh, something uh, very very hard for me to uh, be able get together with, with my family and relaxing. So I always dreams to get together because I uh, uh, yeah. I'm in in the in the LDR situation for about seven years. Yeah. Oh. I always spread from my family. Uh, when my family live in, in uh, Surabaya, I have to move to Aceh also, and then to Jakarta. This is the the hard problem. But, but I, I still enjoy the my method. This is uh, because of uh, yes, because of uh, my my job, my occupation. It's my obligation, I think. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ryan, uh, for yeah, for your in, uh, inspiring youth and then your hobbies and your uh, welcomeness for us yeah, to, to come to your dormitory. Yeah, uh, it's such a pleasure for us. And don't forget that someday I will be your ancestor, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're already our father figure right now. And then, hi, Denny. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? How's hey, it going? Hey. Uh, hey. How are we, are, we are good. We are cool. Good what about now? you? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really good. Really good to you. Oh, nice. Very morning. I appreciate mm. that. Um, maybe you uh, you have any hobbies, Daddy? So some things have to. Some days I have a little a lot of hobbies to take a relax, watching movies and playing playing phones for the internet for watching YouTube for Netflix. Oh. Netflix. A lot of it. Oh, Playing. watching movies. Yeah. It makes you relax, right? Yes, I am. I am the real relaxed at TV while watching watching TV and what while and looking for looking for playing phone. Oh, nice. Uh, you you are able to cook, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, before yeah. The class is begun. Let me share the announcement from BitZone. Okay, good morning, dear participants. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dika Narendra. I'm the MC for today. And these are the announcements from BitZone. Let me read it for you. Hi, fellow Britzoners. Welcome to Saturday class, the Britzon Fun Day class. First of all, I want to share our values in Britzon. The first one is we are free and open platform. You don't need to pay any single rupiah at all to join us, and we are open for everyone, no matter your age, your uh, ethnic, even your English 
uh, English capability, yeah, don't worry, just join us. And then we provide English education, empowered by our awesome conductors, committees, and facilitators. They work volunteerism, yeah. Uh, they work voluntarily without any payment at all. So we are uh, we are a volunteer organization. Uh, you don't need to pay us. And then we are we have no judgment too. So don't worry if you uh, still insecure about your English capability. Yeah, just learn together with us. Uh, this is a safe place for you to learn English. And then we have three classes in a week. The first one is Bridgestone Speaking Academy in Tuesday starts at 7 p.m. in the evening, focuses on public speaking, speech, debate, interview, and so on. Second one is Bridgestone Betterment Series, BBS, uh, on Wednesday, also starts at 7 p.m. evening, touches four skills in English, listening, writing, re reading, and speaking. The last one, uh, Bridgestone Fun Day, which is today, on Saturday starts at 11 a.m. brings various topics for weekly discussions for fun. And then we have some social media accounts. Please stay connected with us. The most updated one is Instagram at Bridgestone ID. And also we have Clubhouse. Uh, if you want to interact with us outside the class and also Facebook, then the class right now is being aired live on our YouTube channel, Zone English Community. So please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like our videos, and drop some comments. And the last, we also have website, but it's still under construction, yeah? And then because we are a free English community, we still need your support by buying our merchandises on Busy Merch. Yeah, we have yeah t-shirt and face mask and also Busy Mart. But Busy Mart uh, is not operating temporarily during the offline class. It only works on offline class, yeah. But during this pandemic, only Busy Merch operates. And these are the items for Busy Merch. The t-shirts, uh, red and black, lanyard, and face mask. This is the, the Instagram account and also the WhatsApp number. And then Bitzone is fully sponsored by Perpustakaan Kemendikbud, Library, or Library of Education and Culture Ministry. It's located in Sudirman, yeah. Uh, this is our official home for offline class, but during this pandemic, everything goes online. So if you, uh, if this library is open again, please sign up for becoming the member for the library to access impressive resources. It has 32,000 book collections, audio and video collections. The next sponsor is Atmago app, a social network app in Indonesia that helps people to share neighborhood issues by the campaign warga bantu warga you can download it on google play or app store and the last but not least we have traditions by taking pictures at the end of the class and don't forget to drop your feedback by scanning this qr code or or click this link yeah all right uh, that's all the announcement from Bridgestone. And then we have additional announcement yeah, from event division of Bridgestone. Uh, Farhan, yeah, the stage is yours. Yeah, hello uh, everyone. Sorry, I couldn't open the camera because of uh, the bad connection here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, can you allow me to share the screen, please? Okay, okay. Hmm. Uh, already. Okay, yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, we have uh, announcement here um, about the Region English com Community uh, last events in uh, 2021. Yeah, so uh, it's a Region Award uh, 2021. Uh, this is the event uh, for the appreciation for uh, the Bridge Donors uh, in this year. We will have uh, several nominations uh, that you can choose uh, your own favorite nominee, which we will announce uh, later. Re really interesting to see uh, who will get the, the busy award this year. So uh, prepare yourself and uh, participate in our uh, last event uh, this year. And the last uh, stay, stay tuned on, on our uh, social media for the uh, food their information yeah i think that's all uh Bika, thank you all right thank you farhan for the announcement about busy awards okay you can stop uh, share screen right now okay the busy awards is used for yeah because we are appreciating you yeah uh, our loyal participants so yeah, please stay tuned with us, especially in our Instagram. So you will also will always get informed about Britzone and our events, yeah. Okay, without further ado, let me call our awesome conductor. Here she is, Yasrin Yulaida. You feel up? Hi, Kak Dika. Hi, prisoners. Hello. 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 Hi, Kak. Uh, is my voice clear? Can you hear me now? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, it's very clear. clear. Your voice is also clear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I will say uh, thank you so much for Kak Dika. And also for our participant, our Britoners who are loyal to join us in Saturday, you know, it's weekend. Maybe, you know, it's weekend, uh, some people just lay on the bed and scrolling Instagram or, I mean, it's time to rest, right? Because it's Saturday, it's weekend. I didn't say all of people, but yeah, some people maybe just do that. And you are here here join us and it's really a great decision it's the right decision so i hope you enjoy the class uh, don't hesitate to ask me anything don't hesitate to chat in the chat room uh, just keep it polite and don't say something rude <laughs> so i really say thank you uh, to you guys okay uh, let's start i will i will share the screen wait a minute Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah sure. Yes. I see it, um, man. I see it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, you already know the title, the topic I will uh, deliver, right? It's about hobby. And and we already know so so many topics. Uh, I mean, hobby is really often to, to discuss, but I'm trying to give you another topic, uh, another way to talk about hobbies. Before I deliver the uh, material, let me introduce myself first. So um, yeah, this is about me, a bit about me. My name is Yasrin Ansorina Yulaida. Uh, you can call me Arin as a simple one, but I, have, I, I, I had an experience when I go to the doctor and I said, my name is Yasrin. They just said, Lasrin? No, Yasrin. Lasrin? Oh my God. <laughs> it's really sad, you know, but yeah, if, uh, if, uh, if today is the first time you meet me and you hard to pronounce it, <laughs> you can call me Arin because my student called me Ka Arin too and I love to. And then, yeah, uh, I live in Bandung actually, but I was born in Sumedang, 4th of June, 1998. And I have graduated from Pajajaran University majoring in the science of animal husbandry. Uh, so, 
Yeah, and then I'm a teacher. I'm a kindergarten teacher. You know, I teach uh, children how to writing, reading, uh, counting, uh, and dancing, singing, and teach them how to be uh, happy or something like that. Because I love I love children so much. They really uh, so innocent. They don't need to pretend to cover her feeling different with uh, adult person. When they said, yeah, they just cry. When they happy, they just uh, smile, laughing. And I love the way, the way they uh, they are. And also, I'm English enthusiast, same like you. So there's no difference between between us. I'm sit down here in front of you. Just want to share a bit about what I got in my life. And then you know, I'm not motivator or consultant, but you can reach me out on Instagram, Yulaida Yasrin. Uh, currently, I share about my hobbies there. I tell you later on. It's about uh, uh, it's uh, Yulaida Yasrin. We can make a friend there. And then yeah, I have a small business uh, at ZP Hampers ID, but it's about start. Uh, there's no product there but i yeah i have uh, i have planned to launching the product uh, this month so don't forget to follow and i will follow you back oh what a promotion i'm sorry <laughs> okay thank you thank you this is uh, about me so yeah um next yeah uh same as uh, the other conductor always start with a question yeah i will i will do that too i will ask some of you maybe uh about hobby with a question mark may that's mean i i am i asked the definition maybe and you can tell us what is your hobby uh anyone wanna answer maybe before i choose one of you <laughs> Come on, prisoner, be active, please. Okay, I'd, I'd like to try to answer. Sure, sure, uh, Mr. Yayan, go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, hobby is connected to leisure time. And the second one is having fun. So uh, the activity that uh, doing in a leisure, leisure time and it make uh, us having fun it's hobby i think this is the, the definition of hobbies about oh. my hobby i have uh, explained about it in, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, when, when, when i uh, talk to uh, mc <laughs> thank you very much okay thank you so much mr yayad yeah i am agree right Hobby is something you do in the leisure time. So maybe uh, once again, uh, prisoners, do you want to share with us what comes uh, into your mind when you see this word hobby and what is your hobby? So I would like, I used to be in, in a hobby, a hobby but right now. But my, my hobby is I'll just relax, relax at home, uh, helping for the parents and Ooh. like, watching watching netflix watching youtube for many for many many times and this this is like my favorite my favorite things things like cars enthusiasms movies action movies uh, action movies and the the guns the guns review cars cars something like that because i don't i just actually you know, become more funny more fun and yes friend yeah yes friend i will be yes friend I have the making for graphic design, graphic designer Coral Draw. It's my motivation. Motivation. I have to do more, <laughs> more, more than that. It, it is a, the fun. It was a lot of fun. It's fun. It's wow, that was great. Thank you, Kadeni. Thank you for explanation. You love to watch movie, right? I love to do that, but uh, currently I'm not doing that uh, often. I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Kadeni, for your explanation. Welcome, Yasrin. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, about hobby and uh, our hobby. Uh, maybe before I before I deliver the meaning, what I got, I will give you one uh, two two definition from Oxford Dictionary and Cambridge Dictionary. 
From Oxford Dictionary, they said hobby is an activity done regularly in one's leisure time for pleasure. Sorry. And from Cambridge Dictionary, they said hobby is an activity that you do for pleasure when you are not working. So the point is, we 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 already know a uh, hobby is something we love to do uh, in the free time. <coughs> I'm sorry for that. Yeah, in free time. And uh, yeah, when we are not working, uh, maybe we can say it's a side activity. When we maybe uh, we do our hobby in uh, weekend. So, but if we agree with this uh, definition, I mean, I, I didn't say there's no wrong. There's no wrong here, but let this uh, dissect dissected the, the meaning, you know. Uh, if hobby is something you do in the free time, how about the busy person? You know, people are busy today. And it, does that mean people can do their hobby? Like how stressed they are, right? Because we, we, we agree that hobby is something we love to do. We enjoy, uh, with, uh, we do that with, with our, uh, all of uh, our heart. So if someone uh, didn't have um, time to do that, I think it's gonna be stress uh, for them. So uh, this uh, topic, I will share you a bit about what kind of hobby that we need in, in our life. I hope you get the point and I hope you enjoy. Let's start the five hobby. Number one, the first one is to make you money, to make you money. You know, we, we already know so many people say that uh, I make money from my hobby. I make money from my hobby. And then we already know too, we also know too that uh, he didn't he didn't have a job, any job expect, uh, expect that hobby. So if we say that hobby is something you do in the free time, how about that? How about that people? How about the people who work for their hobby? And uh, maybe I will give you one quote from, you know him, who is he? <laughs> It's very famous. I make sure you know him. Do you know him, the handsome man in front of your screen? <laughs> but he's getting married, okay? Don't throw it to him. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Kang Emi, right? Uh, I'm sorry to read this uh, quote in to Bahasa. I don't know, it's uh, more like uh, enjoy to read. Yeah, uh, Ridwan Kamil. Uh, say that pekerjaan yang paling menyenangkan di dunia ini adalah hobi yang dibayar, right? So it's really enjoyable uh, when we, when our hobby uh, with the paid hobby, I mean. So if we, uh, if you can, uh, if you can make money from your hobby, why not? If we, if you, if you feel stressed because of your work, if you feel confused, if you feel tired because of your work. Does that mean you? Uh, that mean you. You don't like your work, I think. So we we agree that hobby is something you feel happy, you feel enjoy. So why not you try to to get your money from your hobby? I know, I know, it's not really quick. It's not that easy. But why not? Why not you to try? To try that, because you know, uh, get a job, so get the money. So uh, the people who are looking for, for a job, the point is uh, the people want to get money, right? So uh, because we, we need to do something like forever uh, uh, as, as long as we live. So uh, the, you know, I think it's more, it's more enjoyable when you do, uh, when you spend your life to do, to do your hobby as a job to get the money. And then, uh, yeah, I think hobby is a shortcut to make you work. If you say that I don't have a job, I, uh, I'm, I'm jobless maybe, or I don't know what to do, just do your hobby and make money from that. It, or what you need is uh, get serious focus, focus on it. Yeah, that's it uh, to, uh, you know, hobby to make money. And I will, maybe I will share a bit about myself. My hobby is teaching. I told you before that I'm a teacher and I, I just realized that, ah, teaching is one of my hobby uh, and it gave me money. 
so I really enjoy uh, I really enjoy my hobby. I uh, I mean I really enjoy when I teach my child uh, my student because I just realized that teaching is one of my hobby, and it's really fun. Uh, you know, uh, meet uh, meet children, so fun. <laughs> Okay, maybe before I uh, carry on the the slide, do you want to share to us what is your hobby and it make uh, it give you money to make money hobby to make money? Maybe um, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I'd like to share my um uh, yeah my self experience. Yeah. Sure. Um. Uh, I, uh, I think I really agree with this statement that hobby to make money. That I is really, you know, uh, like this statement before because I do that. Um, I I I interest. I have a lot of interesting with social media, especially Instagram. So I think uh, back then. I I just like uh look look for looking for uh you know like the way for make something different about uh my hobbies to yeah just like scrolling Instagram so uh, I decided to make small business like you did and wow. uh, by the time uh I got uh, you know. Um, because I learned to, from that, I being social media specialist and uh, something, if you just uh, have hobby, your hobby is to make money, it's got stress, yeah, because you have no escape. So I think uh, my hobby is not, not about social media anymore because, yeah, um. Uh, it's not my, my, you know, I not got have fun anymore with social media. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Because burn out. I got burned out from that, so I have other hobby now. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we we, we discussed this before with Ka Dennis. If I'm not mistaken, we we talk about social media detox, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you do that? You do you do that? Uh uh sorry. Uh you you what? do you do social detox or without without ah, do yeah. social detox I did. already? I did I did social detox like um deactivate my uh Instagram for a while, you know, for two mm -hmm. weeks or yeah. For yeah escape from hectic <laughs> yeah, because I just like okay. um, you know sometimes I can I just confuse about oh, what's my professional life and my personal life okay yeah. <laughs> okay thank you so much Kadela for your answer for the answer <laughs> okay yeah yeah uh maybe I will uh I will next the slide Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, that's all for number one. It's uh, to make you money. And next to the, the second one is habit to make you in shape, to make you healthy, right? So maybe we will talking about the sport, but you know, I if I I can say that I don't really love to do exercising, sport, fitness, or whatever you call it. But uh, being healthy is very important. Uh, it doesn't mean, uh, I mean, what I mean is not to force you to be happy, to have body goals, like, uh, you know, that that's not what I mean, but you have to be healthy, and healthy is very important to people. Healthy is in face, man, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, health, healthy is very, very important, and we know, we already know that so many kind of sport, of exercise, of, I don't know how to say it, but so many kind of, of, of it, but uh, so you can choose one, one, uh, just one. It's okay if you don't really like to do that, but I, I, I swear I, uh, 
for sure. I think you will find, uh, find even just one. For me, for me, I don't really like do exercising. But when I'm not doing that, it's make my body really hard sometimes, especially during this pandemic. You know, I have to sit down in front of camera for it's not 20, 24 hours in a day. But yeah, I have to teach my children in front of uh, camera and uh, what is pegel in Indonesia? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's make my body really hard because maybe the the blood is freeze, uh, so the uh, health is very important. So I decide to like one of uh, kind of uh, sport, and what I love to do is I love to uh, exercising like move uh, move my body in my place, not going running or swimming because I don't have time to do that. And I don't want to go alone, so I just doing by myself in my house. Uh, just at least make sure my body not not freeze because of this activity. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I have for one quote from Joseph Pilot. Uh, he said that physical fitness is the first required sign of happiness. Right. I am. I totally agree with this because when you are healthy, when you fresh, uh, you can go out with your friend. You, you can go out. You can visit your family, and uh, and I don't know. It make make us happy, right? Because when you just lay on the bed like all day, it's make you stress. So you have to go out and uh, go out need a healthy body. <laughs> You know, I know you, 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 you want to be a person who like, uh, no, nah, I don't want to go out there because I'm tired. I'm tired. Just so easy to, to, to tired. <laughs> so you have to do something and you need, uh, you know, the, you need this uh, investment that is uh, healthy sport. Uh, and we can, we, uh, we have to balance it with the food done, you know, uh, healthy food like uh, balance about protein something like that don't always eat the junk food please <laughs> because it's not really good for your head uh, if you love to do sport but you eat uh, so many junk food it's not good for your head that's a hobby uh, to make you in shape okay maybe uh, do we have uh, athlete here and can you share about your story? I love to do this and this and this because I just love one, you know? How about you guys? Do you have any hobby to make you in shape? Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Hello, Tess? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Who is okay. that? Um, so, um, it's not easy to uh, achieve what we want sometimes. Um, when we love to do some things and we make it in, as hobbies and we try to develop this every day, every every year, so we're gonna make it like, we're gonna call it as a passion, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I was to when I was young. I love to um, create a story because I'm, I love writing. Uh, I made a short story until this time uh, about my migrant. Actually, um, a finance consultant is out of my my major, uh, of course. Um, but I still dealing on it. Um, when I when I was young, and I also published my own uh, short story in the war magazine. Then I don't know. I I just want to publish my another short story on Wattpad because there are so many things, uh, many. Uh, Many things and many problems that I can share to all of you, but uh, day by day I learn something new. I love to um, learn how to uh, impersonate uh, anyone 
even though I can do it as well, uh, not as good as um, another impersonate, but I I do my best. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's that that's really entertaining. Uh, but no, every not everyone can. Um. Not everyone can accept our. Not everyone can accept our uh, content because, yeah, you are you, you are not as good as him or her. That's that, that's an opinions and uh, believe me, there will be a um, positive and negative come out like that yeah okay so, uh, so what's what this short story maybe you share about uh sport about exercise because That's i want to know uh your hobby to make you in shape to make you healthy what is that exercise oh well i i when when i uh when i do our daily activity at home like uh work from home Well, actually, I do nothing, <laughs> but I try to change my mind and I do a little exercise, like push up, sit up. I, uh, actually, I'm a rugby huge fan since I was young. I don't know. Uh, I prefer American football rather than football or basketball wow. and softball. And softball, that's actually, that's rare. To find the oh, community yeah, like right. that, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Ka. Who are you? who is your name? Fahmi, right? Ka Fahmi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, in my opinion, uh, workout or exercise, it is not only uh, hobbies. I think, but it is include our compulsory, our our obligation. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. Get uh, the good shape, I think, so we ha- can do anything and get uh, healthy. Yes, uh, we have to. We need it, right? Uh, spend our time, maybe just 30 minutes a day for mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. do exercise, because it can support our health. I think. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, some activities uh, that uh, we can. Uh, feel fresh I think. so yeah that's right i agree you. with you mr yeah 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 because you know uh maybe uh i don't know who but maybe for person who really really busy and they don't even have one second to uh, to get an exercise and they skip that it's really i think it's 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 not good. It's dangerous. So what I mean is, when you when you choose one habit on one hobby and it make you make you in shape, you you need to think about it. You need to uh, to do that for every morning. I mean for every day, whatever in the morning or in the afternoon maybe. But yeah, uh, I agree with you that uh, I I mean that's all what what I need. Uh, what we need. Uh, Uh, to be healthy but uh, well, yeah sorry well do you mind if i speaking <laughs> want to talk but i yeah, can hear actually, your voice clearly yeah um well well how about now is that clear yeah clear okay so yeah in my opinion i, I definitely agree with with him uh, yeah, yeah. well actually um Yeah, that's that's not a hobby, but that's obligations that we have to do it in every single day. Right. Uh, right. But in this uh, in these situations, I mean, like today, the weather is so cold, so it definitely it push us to hibernate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Yayan and Kak Fahmi to add uh, the point. Yeah, uh, I ha- I hope you guys uh, still healthy, uh, especially for this pandemic. Okay, uh, let me uh, carry on the, na- the slide. 
Okay, that's the second point. And the next will be hobby to make you creative. Hobby to make you creative. Uh, I'll, uh, in my opinion, actually creative is not always about color, about paint, about how to mix and match the green and yellow. Maybe it's not always about that, but creative is uh, oh, we as no as like you, you you need to solve to solve the problem, and that's uh, uh, and what uh, all while uh, all what you need is uh, creative thinking. You know, like. Uh, I swear that you you don't want to be a person who if someone asks your opinion and then you say like no nah, I don't know mm, I have no idea I I don't know like uh, come on just think about it you you need to 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 think about it and I think you need uh, you need one hobby that makes you creative I don't know I don't know scrolling Instagram TikTok or another social media it's make you creative or not it's depend on what your uh, what uh, what account you follow like me I uh, follow account because uh, the account give me some information so uh, creative is the way you can solve the problem the way you can thinking something and also the way you can the drawing it, it's, it's including right because you know i love to some uh creativity and i love to do hand lettering if you know that hand lettering is you maybe uh, same like drawing but i i ask km uh, if you know km uh they uh she say that uh hand lettering and drawing is different because uh, hand lettering more like you 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 write something in the beautiful way and yeah oh uh, and then make me think uh, oh that's why I don't like drawing but I I love to do hand lettering that's uh, that's my my hobby but uh, actually I'm not really good on it but I'm trying to be to be creative and I'm trying to be make a uh, hand lettering is my hobby to make me creative so this is the definition of uh, creative is the ability to produce or develop original work, theories, technique, and thought. Whatever, whatever your, your hobby, I hope it can make you creative. Actually, I don't force you to have five hobbies in your life. So many, right? But uh, if you just have one hobby and it makes you creative and it makes you uh healthy and it's uh, and it can make money it's okay but for me uh yeah it's just i don't know i just love to do hand lettering i also love to exercising i also love to teaching and uh, you know I, I i don't need to i'm not trying to get your sympathy but uh, four four months ago I get uh, I had an accident. Uh, it's a motorcycle accident, and it's make my right hand broke. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, my 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 finger my finger broke, and so I I can't even uh, hold a pain, and make me realize that uh, no, I'm feeling so sad. I'm feeling so sad. So uh, I swear to myself when I get uh, uh, recovery, when I when I get uh, uh, well. I will uh, do something with my right hand and that's it hand lettering and I about start to do that uh, but I currently share my my uh, you know my work in social media on yes you lay the Yasmin as I told you before uh, it's uh, it's still uh, not really good but I'm trying I'm trying to do that like every day uh, that's my my hobby to make me creative. Maybe uh, one of you want to share to us uh, what uh, hobby uh, to make you creative. Maybe uh, one of you uh, is uh, have uh, you know have uh, creativity or product you can share with us. Hello guys, it's okay to be active or are you still me. thinking? What, what, what was the question? What was the question? Yeah, the question is: Do you have any hobby to make you creative? Maybe well, painting, drawing. Mm -hmm. Painting, drawing. No, I'm not good at it. Well, I'm playing music and cooking. I'm also not good at it. But I love to. Um, I used to be a part of the others team. 
so I uh, love to make a little short story or um, design the characters. I mean, uh, the decorations, uh, what kind of, what the genre of the, the stories, what, what, what should we do, what's the titles, what, uh, and, um, but uh, oh, what's the uh the plot? Yeah, uh, that's making you thinking, right? Yeah, you, you didn't exactly. think like yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It. Isn't it brainstorming actually? Yeah, yeah, right. And, and it make uh, you have a creative thinking, but with with, with also the pro process and progress. Wow, yeah. that was so cool. Yeah, I, I told you guys before that if you just have one hobby, it's okay. If if if, if it's okay if you make you creative and it uh, it be uh, it make you give you money, it's okay if you just have one included. Uh, to you know, it's uh, already cover all of the kind of hobby that we need to have in our life. Thank you so much for Kak Fahmi again uh yeah that's the creativity so uh wait a minute why it can move wait okay oh i have a, a picture here yeah uh, maybe it's a kind of uh hobby that make us creative you can do some uh, calligraphy you are playing guitar music singing and then uh, painting also yeah, you can uh, choose one of them. Uh, it's just few of example, you know. So uh, I don't know. Maybe you uh, you can share in FGD room later on. Okay, I will next the slide. It will be okay. The fourth one is to build your knowledge. To build your knowledge. So maybe I will confirm uh, to one of you. Uh, I don't know, but if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ka Diki, uh, you love to read a book to build your knowledge, right? Or, or, or what you yeah. call it? Yeah, uh, I have a habits to read because it really helps you to not only your knowledge, but it can change how you view something and how you, uh, how you, yeah, how how to develop your your life. I think reading is one of the most. Uh, beautiful things that you can do wow actually i still i still asking for myself like why i i don't really like reading a book <laughs> maybe uh I, I don't need to like yeah, yes rain it's okay it's okay if you don't if you don't like that but everyone has their way to beat your knowledge for me uh i'm not really love to read a book but i have a book also to read but not like you are like uh, so many books do you have right <laughs> Uh, but but for me, I love to do some dis discuss. I love to do some discuss. I also have uh, one of my friend is a uh, writers, and uh, I sometimes I discuss with her. And uh, what I want is when we discuss, uh, you you know, you can you can share your knowledge. You can share what what the point uh, from the book that you read. <laughs> I, I want to get a, a, a shortcut way, you know, like I don't want to read a, a book letter by letter, but I want to know from your mouth and discuss with me like like that. I don't know. <laughs> because maybe, yeah, I don't know. Uh, by the way, in my place, Adan, right now, can you hear my voice clearly or it's cracked? Yes, your voice still win. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. You're you're lower than the ozone. Okay, carry okay. on. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, where were we? I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the way I build your know, uh, my knowledge is, uh, I love to discuss, and because I love learn English, uh, I just make sure that the discuss use English uh, language, like uh, Britain for one of example. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe because I love to uh, make hand lettering, uh, you know, letter by letter, so beautiful, and the books, it's really, sorry to say that, it's really boring, like, and A, J, like, like just, uh, just a boring way, so uh, uh, when I, when I read a book, like, 
I'm so sleepy, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really bad, actually. I I I I read a book too, but I don't uh, read so much book because yeah, I told you before. So yeah, knowledge. Knowledge is really important for me, right? Without knowledge, we're nothing. Knowledge is you know like information, experience, and knowledge make us alive still alive survive in our life okay wait what the screen can move on okay yeah this is the the picture of what i got in uh, from youtube knowledge is like education solution analyze information experience learning this is knowledge and uh, everyone has their way to get to build uh, their knowledge. For me, I love to discuss. Maybe for Kadiki, love to read a book. Maybe for uh, another people, love to uh, uh, get the get the knowledge in school. Love to you know like love love that forum. But actually, knowledge is is not always depend. You know uh, how to say it. Uh, knowledge you can get uh, like anywhere and anytime. It's not always in your school, especially me. I'm not school. I'm not a student anymore in, in school. So uh, you still uh, have to get the new knowledge, uh, information, experience, learning, and uh, etc. Yeah, this is the point is people need knowledge to survive their life. Even, uh, even you know, at least how to how to make a good communication we need we need the experience right like well, how to be a good how to be a good house like yeah something like that 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 is the knowledge we we have to know and we have to looking for knowledge uh yeah that's all and oh and we can get knowledge anywhere anytime i told you before it doesn't depend on your school it's not always on your school on your college but it's anytime and anywhere maybe in your house maybe in your circle friend uh, maybe in your environment maybe in red zone also yeah okay yeah that's knowledge okay i i'm curious about you guys maybe you you have hobby that make you oh this is this is uh, build my knowledge Wait a minute. I I ask Adiki. Uh, just just ask Adiki, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let let me let me carry on. Maybe I will ask you uh, after this. Yeah, the five uh, one is to involve your mindset. Involve. I think knowledge without mindset it's uh, dangerous because whatever how how many you how much you collect knowledge how much you collect the information but without mindset. It's uh, it's dangerous because maybe you will be so selfish or uh, easy to easy to you know easy to give up. I don't know, but you have to involve your mindset. And me myself, how to involve myself is I love to do. Wait a minute, I don't know how to say it, but. Men mentoring, mentoring. Do you know that mentoring, kajian, pengajian? I know, Liko, right? Yeah, Liko, sure, yeah, know. that's why right. something like that. Mm -hmm. I I love to do that to to set my mindset that you know, like I want to see you as human, world as a world, like world is a game. And I mean, uh, Allah say that in Al Quran. I'm sorry, I'm Muslim, right? So uh, the way I involve my mindset is I'm trying to keep my mindset in how to say it, in the right way maybe in Allah Allah way right so um uh, I don't want it to be a person who just uh, rich with knowledge but I I want to use the knowledge in the right way uh, to and I uh, and I want to involve mindset as what uh, Allah wants Maybe I'm just uh, humble, uh, what, what you call it. I, I'm just like humble. So sometime, someday I will go back to, to the heaven, I mean. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, keep in the right way. Mm, that's my mindset, maybe. And maybe maybe one of you want to share to us uh, how do you, in how, uh, what your hobby to involve your mindset, I mean. Do you want to share? 
knock knock hello <laughs> maybe uh hello. the the lady hello okay who is that uh i'm dewi <laughs> i'm joining this um today i'm a newcomer <laughs> Okay, so, welcome. so uh, I think um, I have a hobby that involves my mindset. I like to listening a podcast uh, from Spotify, from YouTube. Uh, just, just, just hoping to to involve my mindset. Even I do another activities. Uh, even I don't get point clearly, uh, but I just like to hear that and hoping that. It's gonna be uh, a new a new comes for me that uh, new involved uh, to change my mindset together, uh, and I like I like I like to hear a native speakers too, and and yeah, it's kind of a hobby, right? Yeah, <laughs> to, yeah. To change my mindset. because you love to do that, right? Yeah, uh, even even I don't I don't. I don't do a uh, focus on Spotify. Just do an another activities to uh, and and listen and listen to Spotify and listen to the podcast. I like I like podcast. I like to hear a podcast. So I think that <laughs> yes. That's yeah. Really okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Keep it going, Kak Dwi. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone has their way. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I told you before that mindset is really important to me. Uh, maybe uh, the next slide will be, yeah, the difference between growth mindset and fixed mindset. And yeah, it's so many points here. Like uh, growth mindset always uh, say that failure is an opportunity to grow. And fixed mindset said that failure is the limit of abilities. And growth mindset challenge helped me to grow, and fix mindset said the opposite opposite way. So uh, grow mindset, I, I want to be a grow a help grow mindset, right? And uh, sorry, I'm I, I confused to say that. Yeah, uh, let's say Liko Liko make me uh, have a grow mindset, and it's still growing. And uh, knowledge without mindset is dangerous. By me, yes. Really. I think that's all from me, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. I hope you get the point. If you have another idea, another uh, opinion, uh, don't, uh, just just say it in the FGD room. But uh, for the material, it's enough. Uh, uh, I already delivered the five point. And for the FGD session, I uh, I have two question for you, and it's uh, number one. It's let's share your hobby, including this category. Maybe your hobby. Uh, this is hobby to make me money. This is hobby to make me creative. But uh, I told you, if you have one, that's okay. And then uh, number uh, the second one is how much do you spend your uh, your hobby? How much time do you spend to do that? Like, no, I'm really busy to do my hobby, so I get stressed. Yes, just just tell to us, share to us. Uh, how much time do you do you have to spend your hobby? That's the FTD session. That's the question I I want to know from you. And don't forget to uh, choose one representative to uh, represent in the main room. I think that's all from me, Kadika. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Yasrin, for your yeah, explanation in this material. Now we have come to the FGD session, but before the host opened the breakout room, let me introduce you to our awesome facilitators. The first one is Diki Adiatma. Hi, Diki. Hello, Kadika. Hello, everyone. And then the second is Eko. Hi, Eko. Hello, Kadika. Hello, everyone. The third is Beverly. Hi, Beverly. Hello, hello, hi. The fourth is Efika. Hi, Efika. Hi, Dika. Hi, everyone. And the last but not least, the fifth is Dela Erina. Hi, Dela. Hi, Kadika. Hi, guys. Hi. So the FGD session will last for around 25 minutes. 
And see you in main room, guys. Should I stop the screen, Kak Dika? Uh, no, uh, just keep it. Yeah, because uh, we will give the view for the YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Forget Maybe, it. Yeah, start from you, Echo, because you're the facilitator. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, so this is my first time in big room. So actually, there are <laughs> two, five of us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, First, I would like to give a shout out to Kak Yasrin. Very nice uh, presentation about hobbies. And I believe that everybody can relate today, especially on Saturday, where actually people uh, and most of us has the time to do our hobbies. So actually, this is the right time to discuss what we like to do. So it's supposed to be a very very uh, well-related uh, topic to our daily life. Well, mm, so in here, who's, uh, who's uh, behind Bridge on English community? Is it someone? Uh, it's Anwar, our host. Oh, okay, it's Anwar. Maybe you should open up, uh, Anwar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Mysterious guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kaiko. Hello, Anwar. And okay, so I will I will greet all of you first. Uh, I for sure I will greet the newcomer. Uh, because I saw him in the big room and very, uh, very active, and I and I really appreciate that. Hello, Fahmi. Hi, Fahmi. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello, Dika. You should open your camera, please. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that would be great if we can see you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. It's been a long time. Oh, so this is not your first time joining? Well, actually, I joined oh, Brazil since 2000. It's million it. times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he is one of our eldest member, yeah. Oh, I, I I've, I've become a member since 2013. Oh my God, that, that's why you speak really fluent and um, you don't get really shy at all at the, uh, at the big room. Uh, it's, I just I just saw you for the first time. I just grabbed join with everyone by Zoom. <laughs> I, okay. how, uh, it's hard to explain how do I miss the library and get around in FX, RTFC in every... Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. <laughs> so before you get used to have offline meetings with with these yeah. guys. Yeah, I know. I know the. I, I know the revolutions. I know the um the the, the evolution of um the library. We often do um out, outing class sometimes. <laughs> wow, that sounds fun. Well, you're very lucky because I'm joining Bridge Zone just when the pandemic start. So I have no idea how the offline class looks like and how it feels. And I'm excited to experience one of that next year, yeah. Right, Kadika? Yes. Okay. I hope so. I'll get the people see it. Yeah, we hope so. Okay. So <laughs> uh uh Kayasin already talked a lot about uh, her hobbies. Uh, I think I haven't heard uh, anything from Anwar. Can you tell us about your hobbies? Yeah, hello. Uh, thank you for asking me. Uh, well, yes, uh, of course, uh, I think everyone has uh, their hobby, right? Uh, including me. Uh, but my hobby is kind of common, like uh, exercise. Uh, fitness and then uh, yeah uh, because it uh, can release our stress uh, our stress right yeah because 
I feel like uh, every day we work uh, in office and so many uh, depending, right? Demanding uh, all of the tax. Uh, and then uh, especially in this pandemic also, uh, our movement so limit. So yeah, uh, one up to feel it, to release my stress. I uh, fitness and then yeah, uh, a little bit exercise. Okay, so actually, during this pandemic, you do more of your hobbies? Yeah. yeah. That's great. So you have actually more time now? Yeah, uh, maybe um, after I finish my work uh, uh, until 5 p.m. And then I uh, go to fitness to release our stress because uh, when, we, uh, when we full up sweat, right? Uh, I feel like more happy after that. Okay, so what what actually you did during, I think I remember uh, when the pandemic started, they closed down all of the fitness centers and gym. And actually what you do to, to you know, to, to exchange that? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, yes. Uh, com- commonly, uh, all, of, all of the fitness center like uh, close, right? But uh, in my place, uh, it is just a little, little place that uh, it's open every day. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So, okay. One, one more question. Uh, it seems that you're a really active person. So, every time you decide to do uh, a hobby i know that you also work and you have uh, a lot of activities so you must choose uh, very very carefully what you're going to do right so w- what is your uh, consideration in choosing your hobbies is there any consideration like maybe kai yasrin said uh, hobbies that makes money or hobbies that uh, she likes how about you Oh, okay. Um, for me, uh, doing hobby uh, is like uh, doing, yeah, uh, same doing what, what I like and then to fill my uh, laser time. You know, uh, uh, I think if uh, people have uh, laser time, then uh, they don't fill with the uh, positive things, right? Then uh, they will fill it with negative things. Yeah, so. Right, right. Yeah, right. Keep, yeah, so keep yourself with the uh, positive things in a good way, I think. Well, I think that's uh, what uh, by Kak Yasrin meant by uh, mindset, right? Yes. So, so actually you have to, you have to have a, like a purpose, like wh- why you want to do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, just uh, want to make myself more happy, release my stress, right? Because we have a uh, busy in uh, all day in the office. So yeah, to so fill my time also. Okay, great. Thank you, Anwar. Thank you for asking me. Next, uh, Kadika, are you still there? Kadika. Hello, Kadika. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> trouble with connections. Yeah, maybe. I, you know, I suspect him that he's actually uh, doing two zooms. <laughs> Very busy guy. Okay. He probably, well, <laughs> he probably got a bad connections. <laughs> yeah, okay. maybe. Okay, let's. <laughs> Let's take, uh, because I haven't talked to Yasrin and Fahmi about hobbies, although I know that you talk a lot, but actually I have a specific question for Yasrin. Yasrin, sure. yes, uh, uh, I bet uh, you have a very, uh, very specific uh, hobbies that you really like to do. Like uh, I noticed that you said, uh, you like to do lettering? Yeah, hand lettering, yeah. Hand lettering. So actually, it's not an easy thing because I saw that uh, uh, on YouTube. And you know what? The first time I saw it, it's like, 
oh, that's so cute. I want to do that. And <laughs> you know what? When I try to do that, uh, it's like, it's very hard. Like, well, it, it needs dedication. I know that if someone can do it, it means that uh, she really wants to learn and she really wants to do it. So, so how do you learn and uh, how, how suddenly you interested Uh, in hand uh, lettering? Well, let me think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not learning. I mean, yeah, I'm learning how to do that. But if you ask me, how can I, uh, how can I do that? Actually, uh, when I was uh, in the elementary school, you know, my book, it's like decide, uh, divide to, do, to, to, to d- divide two, you know? Um, uh, suddenly I'm nervous, you know, like a half of my book, it's so many, uh, I don't know how to say, charet-charet, you know, like uh, oh, really, okay. really, yeah. You like, to, you like to draw on your books. Yeah, in my book, in my in my book. And uh, my mother always said like, why you always do that? It, it make you have to uh, buy book again. Because I don't know, because uh, maybe I, I love to to do it and then when when i uh, when i do that i'm just like uh, when i love to do, to drawing when i love to do hand lettering then now then uh, why for what all right but uh, uh this era today we also know hand lettering is uh, enough uh, to you know you you can uh, you can start your business from from that but when i when i still elementary school i don't know what i have to do with my with my work like it's beautiful but i don't know how to do that how to this what for what for why why i love uh, why i love to the hand lettering and what for but now when i grow up and then uh this specific uh, reason is because i had an accident and it's make me uh i so regret and i feel sorry to myself because i can't even hold the pen And it's make me like ah oh, I can uh, I can uh, do some hand lettering again. So uh, when I get well uh, from my recovery uh, and I can uh, hold my pen again, I you know I swear to myself to uh, I have to uh, make a hand lettering again, again and again and post uh, on my Instagram like that. Wow, that's inspiring. But uh, uh, how long you get the, I mean, how long you recover from the accident? Uh, four months ago, but uh, sorry to show you, but uh, it still can, uh, like uh, the other can, I, I, I can like this, but it can, because oh it's. Uh, oh my God, that's awful. Uh, <laughs> but so, I can, but, uh, but I can hold my pen and it's make me so happy. Okay, that's good for you because when you get the accident and you cannot move your hand, mm, meanwhile, meanwhile you're actually doing your hand for hand lettering, something that you really like. Do you are are you being worried that you, you cannot do that hobbies anymore? Yeah, I worry. Even like today, I still worry because uh, you know, uh, yeah. Actually, when when I had an accident, I just. I experience depressed. Like, why? Because I'm very sad. It's not. It's not always. Uh, it's not only hand lettering. Like for anything, I can't hold anything. I can. Uh, yeah, you know. So uh, one of one of uh, one of them is yeah hand lettering. So I worry about that. But I have a motivate motivate uh, from my sister. A simple like she said, let's uh, keep it going, just like that. And it make it, yeah. Why I have to give up? Just keep going, whatever, whatever uh, it takes. Like I have to keep going. I have to to be myself again. I have, you know, I want to back to myself. I hope you recover really soon, Yasrin. I mean, thank you so much. Okay, Kadika, we're we've been looking for you actually. Yeah, because <laughs> my cats caught me. Yeah, uh, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, uh, some of the bridge owners have uh, pets, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Especially cats, yeah. Cats is everyone's pets, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have cats all, as well. Yeah. Uh, Kadika, how about you? Uh, uh, please share your your hobbies. 
what what you actually do during this pandemic what what hobbies really interested you interest you okay during this pandemic i used to do uh, workout yeah but uh, i add the portion of the workout itself uh, by yeah by yeah slightly weightlifting uh, just uh, three kilos of dumbbells like that Oh, yeah. it's actually holding it. Yeah, I'm actually holding it. You're you're a multitasking person. Uh, yeah, just show it. Uh, not doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, I used to do workout uh, since uh, junior high school, but only yeah, uh, toolless yeah, uh, deviceless. Just push up and sit up. and any variations of it mm-hmm. but yeah during this pandemic uh, i added up to yeah slightly uh, dumbbell with three or five kgs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so you do more with weights uh, yeah. nowadays yeah yeah okay so is there any is there any anything that actually inspire you uh, because you actually doing uh, uh this this sport for quite long yeah and uh it, i mean you really committed to it is there any uh goal that you want to pursue oh at the beginning actually i was insecure uh, of my appearance yeah because uh, i thought that i was yeah like short and fat because at that time my height was only 163 or 164 and my weight was 65 or 66 mm-hmm. uh, it was not obese actually but during my yeah my head and neck are long and my yeah lo- uh, legs are big so yeah i think it was unproportional so yeah i just try to look better yeah by workout yeah i just try to look better actually uh, not no actual target We, well, you know what? I cannot imagine you are being fat because I I just saw you right now, and like just before, you, I I thought you're just like very tall person and very ideal, and I just cannot imagine you're you're fat at all. <laughs> oh, uh, very tall? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, because uh, I just stand around 1.7 meter right now, and my weight is 64 to 65 kgs. Oh, okay. yeah, more Maybe ideal. for women, we can say it's body goal, right? <laughs> uh, I, no, it, it's, still, it's still too fat for women because yeah, uh, the weight for women in my height should be below 60. Yes, 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 that's right, that's right. But for men, it's 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 ideal, yeah? Yeah, quite, yeah, normal, yeah, yeah quite standard, I think. Yeah, yeah. So actually, well, I have one question. Are, are, are you a typical person who's actually easy to get fat? or easy to get you know really skinny uh, i think i uh, tend to fat yeah because yeah during this pandemic i spend more my time at home uh, i don't move so much yeah i think yeah i'm prone to be fat yeah yeah that's right i also experienced that we we ate a lot and we don't yeah. eat at all yeah yeah and... only a little more motion uh how, how much do you gain uh sorry this is a very uh sensitive uh, question yeah, but go, I, yeah, go I, on. i would like to know uh i gain like almost i don't know five kilos during this pandemic and that's crazy uh and i already tried to lose three kilos of it but i still have another two kilos to lose uh, do you experience any of that Oh yes, uh, actually, yeah. Because um, before this pandemic, uh, my weight was 60 or yeah, 59 to 60. And during this pandemic, uh, my top weight was 67. Yeah, uh, the, the the record. But yeah, right yeah. now it has decreased to 64 to 65. Oh, that's great. What what did you do? Share, yeah. Share. <laughs> yeah, just uh, share. I try to share cycling, it. yeah, uh, to cycling. Oh, okay. Yeah. So bicycle. Yeah, bicycle. The folding bike. 
the folding bike. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, actually, uh, my sister is actually doing cycling, and I was actually planning to do that, but until now, mm, not yet. It doesn't work yet. <laughs> I'm still at home. <laughs> Okay, thank you for sure uh, for sharing, Kadika. Oh yeah, uh, maybe I wanna know. Yeah, uh, what is your height and weight, Eko? If you um, still want to improve. I'm 170 centimeters, and my weight currently is 70 kilogram, 70 71 kilogram. Oh, uh, quite ideal. What <laughs> 70 Yeah, for men, it's quite ideal. <laughs> well, actually, uh. I have to move a little bit because well I used to do uh working out and gym. I I just find out that actually if you do gym and if you don't do it then if you still eat a lot well actually you you get a bit you look fat. Yeah. Be- because you don't have the muscles. Okay. Uh well Fami are you still there? Fahmi. Hi Fahmi. Yo, yeah, what's up? Okay, can can you show can you show your video? Nah, you have seen my face, right? don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I... Uh, seriously, it's, it's only my papa's leave it behind. Wait, where's the others? <laughs> oh, uh, in, the others in... are in breakout room. Okay, okay. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, Fahmi. Okay. I... So actually, uh, you, because I saw your message in the chat box. Yeah. Well, actually, we break we break the room, the big room, into little rooms, and we we oh. will be back after that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Fahmi, I actually catch you saying that you you do impersonating. Mm-hmm. Right. I think yeah. it it's it's intrigued me, and I'm really curious. Actually, what you do. Uh, what kind of impersonating uh, are you doing? Well, the impersonating is actually is it's not as similar as as the the one who I try to impersonate. But yeah, I mm-hmm. I just I just try it. Yeah, <laughs> I just try it. Uh, I. Yeah, pretend to, to be someone else. Um, it could be a, a movie character or um, actor or motivator or something like that. Uh, it's it's been pay off. I mean, it it's it's not been uh what I do for the living because I'm a finance consultant who. Used to be, uh, I used to be a part of um theater, like I said before, and also I've joined um Abang Noni Chilik in two thousands. So I used to be on interest with uh entertainment works at that time, but I don't know I. I've been interesting with um with the entertainer. Uh, I'm curious how do they make a good movie? How do they make a um, good uh, create a good story? So that's why I uh I try to join with um the community who is causing about uh. Theater, um, movies, or uh, film, cinema, from anywhere. Wow, you're a really creative person. Actually, you have a uh, hobbies in in hobbies that well, actually, I've never imagined. Like you do theaters, etc. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know how to. I just uh. I just made a uh, TikTok, but I don't know how to use it as TikTok. well. TikTok. Yeah. <coughs> well, oh. I, well, actually, I'm not good at, at singing a song. I don't like singing a song. Even uh, someone who invited me to to 
go with her or with him in karaoke. I don't know really like because I I, oh. I am a gamers. I'm a gamers, but I don't play Mobile Legends. Oh, uh, the time is up. Sorry, guys. The okay. FD session. Yeah. Oh, we'll see in the big room. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's finished. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome back to main session. Uh, we we'll need more time. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, Yasrin, uh, you can stop share screen. Wow. Sure. Wait. Okay, welcome back for the participants in main room. Now I'm gonna call. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, we still have yeah several seconds for waiting the others to get back here. Okay. Yeah, because Bever Beverly's group is still yeah. Still in the O room. Okay. Yeah, all the participants are back. Now I'm gonna call from Biki Adiatma's group. Okay. Uh, we have a really a meaningful discussion with Ka Amanda and Ka Bia. Uh, we share our experience in hobby, and our representative for today is Ka Bia. Hello, Ka Bia. Hi, Kadiki. Yeah, Thank you for uh, the change, Kak. Yeah, go ahead. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, I have a great FGD sessions with Kadiki Adli, Adi, Adiatma and Kamanda Larasati. Kadiki Admi, Adiatma is uh, the first, my facilitator in FGD sessions. Um, so about our discussion, discussions uh, about how our hobby uh, to make money or build uh, our knowledge and build our mindset. Yeah, that's about. I think um, uh, the the hobby can make me money, knowledge, and mindset. And the others, it's uh, because uh, we doing the positive things, uh, the positive thing, and the positive things make me to do some things positive too, like uh, Kadiki like reading reading books and then reading book make Kadiki make YouTube channels to about self improvement and the others and Ka, Ka Anan Amanda Larasati very like English uh, so uh, she doing learning English very well and has a teacher English teacher and maybe in the future Ka Amanda Larasati will be a lecturer in English. Yeah, maybe that's all, Kak. Maybe that make me more money, knowledge, and mindset because our doing positive thinking and the positive thinking make me doing some positive to do. That's all of me, Kak. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Kak Bia. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Bia and this group. Now let's move to the last group. Okay, hi Kadiki. Um, in our group we have a great hobby. Uh, we have uh, Widya Haris and Afghan. Uh, maybe for today class, uh, from my group, I want to um choose Afghan pro for representative. Afghan, are you there? Hi, Afghan. Oh, maybe. He's uh, away. Okay, okay. Maybe uh, Harris. Oh, do you mind to be our representative now? Yes, no problem. Okay. Go ahead, it's your time. My apology for baby sound. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Dela, for facilitating us. So, uh, the first question about the category, my hobby uh, is relating to shape myself uh, because I love to do some anal analytical data uh, relating with my previous jobs. 
So it's uh, I spend like I I work for about eight hours a day, and I may spend half of it about four hours to to do some analytical data, diagrams, and graphics. And I I'd love to do that. And for number two, what is it? Number two question. Uh, how much do you spend time for your hobby? Oh yeah, well I already answered two, but my hobbies, my common hobbies, uh, besides my my job desk, I love to reading books, and also gardening, watering my plants, and etc. Well, I for that hobbies, I think I usually spend one to two hours in a day. Thank you. It's great, uh, representative. Yeah, thank you, Aris. All right, thank you, Widya Haris and the last group. Now let's move to Efika's group. Okay, thank you so much, Dika. So we had such a fun discussion with the girls, uh, with uh, Ken, Novia, and Putri. So right now I'm gonna choose Ken as the representative of our group. So Ken, hello. Hi, hello, Mr. Hi. 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 So thank you for the opportunity. Uh, let me um, summary our discussion. So today's discussion, Erika asked us, ask us about a few questions. First one is, what is our hobbies that we can put into those categories? And as for as I can conclude that Evika's hobby is a lot. Uh, she likes to um, swimming to stay in shape and she likes to uh, cooking to like um, uh, about, you know, learn other, evolve his, her mindset. mindset. And then uh, he, uh, she also likes to work. It's very unique because usually people uh, like doing hobby to, you know, uh, forget about the, uh, our work, but Evika actually love work as her hobbies, and also uh, she also uh, do, uh, like to play violin to stay creative. And for Novia, uh, she's like um, to do a makeup, so she likes to spend her uh, free time to do makeup, but. Uh, uh, and also makeup is part of her job, but unfortunately the pandemic uh, affects her business. So I hope uh, uh, this pandemic can go so we can back to our uh, daily routine normally. And for Kak Putri, Kak Putri is so cool, I think, because she had a black black belt in karate, <laughs> in karate to stay in shape. And he, she liked to do karate and it was, uh, she also held the black black belt, and uh, she also liked to um, teaching. If I'm not mistaken, to remember, uh, her passion is to teach. So uh, he, her current job is feels like uh, a hobby because she doesn't feel like it's a job because uh, uh, she's very passionate about it. And for me, my hobby is actually to study. So I really enjoy doing this kind of activities, like joining to the online class, and I can spend seven until eight hours a week to study in a group and also in online class. I think that's the summary of our discussion. Thank you so much, Ken. That's a really great explanation. And back to you, Nika. All right, thank you, Miss Kenanga and Efika's group. I think uh, we have met before, yeah, Miss Kenanga, in another project. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have. Yeah, in your workplace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move to Beverly's group. All right, hello, Dika. We totally enjoyed our conversation, honestly, and in our group discussion, we have Mr. Yayan, Dui, and Dina, but in here, um, I choose Dina, eh, sorry, Dui, as a representative, and also you should welcome her because she is a newcomer. Oh, nice. Go on, Dwi. Hi, Dwi. <laughs> Dwi, are you there? Uh, hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, 
okay <laughs> okay um this is my first time presentations <laughs> because i'm newcomer and um uh let me uh let me share the one uh my hobby uh, about about cooking i like cooking and it's and it's um i think i think cooking is um part of hobby that uh, that make that make me creative because uh, I like to scrolling my social media like Instagram reels and uh, looking for uh, looking for a video of a uh, tutorial of for cooking. It's a uh, it's a beautiful it's a pretty and creative uh, and so I try uh, at home and I try I try to make one and it's kind of a fun a fun hobbies that uh, makes makes me uh, create it every day and uh, you know that um, I like to upload uh, I like to upload and take a take a picture of um, my foot and and upload to social media it's such a kind and being a creative uh, so yeah so yeah um, and also I uh, I spend for two or three hours a day for for my hobby on cooking and yeah but it's depend on but it's depend on my food uh, what i cooking i mean that uh if i baking one it's uh it's take a long time but uh yeah you know it's such a brainstorming too when i try the hard one but yeah yeah i think that's that's my hobby to make me a creative yeah that's it thank you Oh, thank you, uh, Dwi Ramadania and Beverly's group. Uh, it's well, quite well executed for the first timer, yeah, Miss Dwi Ramadania. A great job for the first timer. And the last but not least, I will call from Echo's group in main room. Thank you, Kadika. Well, actually, this is uh, my first time to being facilitator in the big room. Mm. It's nice to have a member of the group who actually eager to talk. So I have Kadika, I have Kak Yasrin, I also have Kak Anwar, and I also have. Uh, I I thought he's a newcomer, but actually he's a bit, he's he joined a bit zoner a bit zone since 2013. So there is Fahmi. Uh, this guy's by Tom Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually, uh, 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 at the end of our conversation, uh, actually, I want I want uh, Fahmi uh, to because he said that he likes to uh, do in person in personation, uh, but we 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 don't have time for that. So I would like to ask uh, Fahmi to represent our group, and maybe you can share a little bit about your impersonation, impersonating uh, hobbies, and maybe you can practice or you can mm, uh, impersonate it someone, Michael Jackson maybe, or anyone. Fahmi. Okay, go ahead, Tom Stewart. <laughs> Tom Stewart, go ahead. It's your stage now. Yeah. Nice. And open your camera. Salam super semua. Sobat-sobatku yang berhati, maaf saya tidak bisa nyalakan kamera. <laughs> I thought somebody else is talking. Yeah, <laughs> it's him. Uh, like oh a my uh, mysterious voice. A mysterious. I, I I thought that I just turn on my camera at the beginning. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now you see me. Yeah, finally, everyone can see you. <laughs> so. Here I am. So what do you want? I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. You can call me Dr. Strange. So what do you want to share? 
Great, that's great. <laughs> Finally, yeah, because we actually uh don't have enough time in the well. Actually, we have a lot of time, but we yeah. we don't. Uh huh. Can Can you represent us to to uh and share about what we discuss in the group about our hobbies? Well, the guy just left. He is far, far come along. <laughs> But but yeah but uh yeah I I'm here uh even though I I can uh hear your voice clearly because uh the connection is my place are so terrible it was it was windy and also it's still raining here so but at least that um. Uh, I know that um, Yasrin live uh, teaching because that's why the she'd become a teacher uh, and um, yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> Sorry, I can I can hear you clearly because I I I was chatting with uh my client. Okay. Okay. Okay, Fahmi, you're done then. <laughs> okay, thank you for representing us. Well, actually, uh, it, it was quite long uh, session. And I know that everyone always loves to uh, talk in the, uh, in the breakout room. Uh, and thank you so much for the time. Uh, and also, I would like to give a shout out to Kayasrin, a very good topic and very suitable topic for Saturday. Thank you. Back to Kadika. All right. Thank you, Echos Group. Yeah. Cool. In main room, a nice try for the first time in main room. And then Fahmi, our most loyal member. He has been a bridge zone member for nearly eight years. Yeah. Yeah. He was very loyal when when we were still offline in Kemendikbud, but now he is still go on. Okay, give it up. All right, before we move to the next session, I want to ask Yasrin, do you have any closing statement related to your material? I'm actually not prepared for it, but uh, you know, I yeah, found it, one. It could be spontaneous. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I found one quote in its uh, good uh, quote. And uh, you know, uh, be, uh, beginners are many, but finishers are few. So keep it going. What, whatever what, uh, you do right now, just keep it going. Uh, do your hobby because hobby make you happy, make you you know you're really happy with when you do your hobby so just uh keep it going <laughs> i mean uh that's all for me back okay. to you katika okay thank you yeah it's very inspirative yeah yes Rian, for your closing statement now okay let's move to the next session the most awaited session which is our mini games called trivia and this trivia will be presented by Diki Adiatma. Go ahead, Diki. Yay. Thank you, Kadika. Hello, hello, Bitzoners. Yeah, as you know, in fun day class Saturday, class, we will have uh, mini games. And this is would be uh, different. And I want you, if you want to uh, participate, please raise your hand because it will uh, really fun. Um, okay, who wants to participate? Ka Amanda, Ka Bia, or anyone? Please raise hand, yeah, if you want yeah. Yeah, to answer the questions. Okay, Miss Kananga okay. and Dina. Okay, um, yeah. Time plus flies so fast. This is the end of this year. This is the time to talk about this year and next year with us. So. Uh, it's uh, end of the year and it's already December and uh, you, uh, I want you to know it's the last 
class, right, Kadika? It for online class in yeah. this period. Uh, this is our last online class, yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah, next week we will serve offline. So if you want to join us, yeah, just register. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah, after that, yeah, there is no Saturday class anymore in 2021 because yeah, in December 18 will be yeah be busy award uh, as announced uh, before and presidential inauguration. So this is your yeah. yeah could be your last time of trivia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At yeah. at the end, uh, it's really good to talk about our experience and our story. And the first one, maybe uh, the first for Kadina. What do you want to say to your special person in the end of the year? Uh, it could be anything. It's not only about a girlfriend or boyfriend. It could be your family or your best friend. What do you want to say? Okay. Uh, start from uh, Dina. Well, the special for person for me, I think, I think it is my best friends. And yeah, I just want to thank them because uh, the past two years has been like a roller coaster, really. Yeah. And they were there when when I'm in my lowest point, even though I'm not reaching out to them. And they, they were quite disappointed of me not reaching out to them. But at the end, they still, you know, they still uh, come at me when I am not really at my lowest anymore, when I already got through it and then I told them and yeah, they still accept me, you know, very well as their best friend, even though, yeah, they're quite disappointed because I, I go through uh, the difficult phase of my life alone, not really, uh, uh, not really involving them in it. Yeah, I feel really grateful for it. Wow, wow, yeah. Uh, best friend is really a special person for you, right? In this year. Yeah. Wow, thank you, thank you. Uh, I also uh, feel that for my best friend. Okay, thank you, Kadina. That's a really uh, beautiful uh, story. And okay, we have another participants. What it's about... Gonna... Uh, oh, Miss Kenanga. Okay, yeah. Miss Kenanga. Uh, do yeah. you want to say, uh, what do you want to say to your special person in the end of the year? Uh, can I say to my family, it's not a person, but it's a peep. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people. Of <laughs> so course. to all my family, uh, thanks for hanging on in this pandemic. Uh, we survived this year, Alhamdulillah. Hope to, uh, hope, hope this problem, uh, hope that the problem we have faced in 2021 can bring us together more to face what gonna happen in 2022. That's all. Wow, wow. Thank you. Uh, family is one of the most closest uh, person that you have, right? And yeah, I feel that also. And we got uh, oh, another participant also, uh, but we want to uh, go to the next questions. Uh, maybe Kaeko can answer this. What's your goals in this year that you haven't achieved? And please uh, mention your next uh, resolution. Maybe like uh, I have a goal for this year to uh, learn new languages, but I haven't achieved the fluency yet or anything. You can share your story. <laughs> yeah, Ka Ka Kaeko. You. Thank you. Thank you, Kadiki. Hello, everyone. I hope you I hope you all in healthy uh, condition today. Well, I believe that everyone has has a resolution at the end of last year, and because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of things happen and a lot of things not happening. So actually, the question is very good: Have you achieved uh, your goals? Well, actually. When the pandemic came, uh, most of my my goals are, are actually are being being uh, uh, hold because basically I I can't really do anything, uh, uh, include my job because my job is actually involving a lot of people. I'm I'm actually working uh, 
in making events. So actually the, the government forbid us to do any events. So actually the past one year, uh, we almost have nothing to do. So uh, there are a lot of things I haven't achieved in, in, uh, in 2020, 2021. So next year is actually, I don't know whether we still have the pandemic or not, but one thing that is really important that I believe uh, it should be everyone uh, resolution, uh, which is maintain our uh, mental health. Because I saw a lot of friends is actually, they got into uh, a lot of hardships, like uh, they got uh, jobless, and then they lose source of money, they lose their jobs, uh, they lose their houses, they lose their cars, they lose their anything. Uh, well, at the end of the day, uh, the most important thing is not about uh, the money you have, but actually your mental health. So actually for next year resolution is I will keep maintaining my mental health and of course, keep smiling. Wow, <laughs> very touching. <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone uh, feel that this pandemic is uh, cannot achieve their goal, and this, uh, and yeah, I agree. That's one of the really important thing that you cannot forget is mental health, and everyone should maintain this, right, Echo? Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you for sharing your thank story. Thank you, Kadiki. And we got another participant. Hello, Kadela. Would you mind to share your story and experience? Hi, Diki. Hello. Um, uh, I think my goals that I haven't achieved this year is uh, I can't uh, do hiking, yeah? Or climbing the mountain. Well, yeah. Because you know, uh, I really want to experience that. Um, because I never, never do that before, and it's such a um, uh, will be will be great experience, yeah. Because you know, it will be, uh, uh, you know, see nature, and yeah. then, but because of pandemic and a block and it's blocked by ppkm rules you know uh, so i can do that <laughs> this year yeah wow is that all yeah it's that it's that i just want to so, share that <laughs> so you want to uh, go traveling and hiking to the mountain right yeah yeah, yeah. wow yeah because that's... of pandemic and yeah. ppkm uh it's it's like you know i can't do that yeah 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 like i think it comes down to the pandemic like uh, echo said yeah, it's uh, he, because... yeah, he he cannot uh, run an event and you also can uh, travel to uh to many places because of the pandemic and wow thank you kadela for sharing your yeah. story and we got uh, sure, the last uh, questions. And uh, if you want to participate, please raise your hand. Or uh, maybe uh, our conductor or our facilitator, Kayasrin. And Mr. Oh, Ryan, Mr. Ryan, Mr. Ryan, yeah. Mr. Ryan, uh, we, we, we talk about resolution, our dream, our hope, and uh, what is your dream and your hope uh, for the next year? Uh, could you tell us? Okay. I'd like to uh, apologize maybe to my family because until now, I uh, can't uh, get together with all of you, especially to my, uh, my son and also my daughter. Uh, but I hope that... Uh, one day we can get together again, uh, but uh, we have to, as uh, Echo mentioned, that we have to be 
uh, keep our 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 mental and our physical so that we can also in the good shape for uh, beat uh, the pandemic. Thank you very much. Wow, wow. Uh, yeah, you said that you uh, you uh, separate with your family because of the work, right? You work on in Jakarta and your family in Surabaya. And wow, uh, yeah, I, we hope that you can uh, meet your family again, Kak Yayan, and <laughs> be together again. And yeah, we live on YouTube. Uh, if you want to say something to your family or anything, uh, you can say again uh, uh, anything for your family, Kak Yayan. Okay. Yeah, yes, maybe. Uh, hopefully, uh, in the next year, uh, all my children can complete his uh, study. Because uh, my first children and the second children still in the universities, and uh, my third uh, child is a student of a senior high school. So I hope uh, in 2022 they can complete it, uh, their study and get uh, the high score. <laughs> high score. <laughs> so. I think it is my, my, my resolution for the next time. Wow. The next year. Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we hope really the best for you and your family. And thank you so much for coming to every our class. You are really make a differences in our class. And uh, very interesting to, ha to have you here, Mr. Yayan. And uh, I think uh, that's uh, the last question for today's. Uh, mini game and i hope your goals your resolution and your hope your dreams will be achieved in the next year and thank you guys for this year you are really amazing person people and every inspire people back to you Kak Dika. all right thank you so much diki adiatma and everyone who take part in trivia games. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, uh, all the good memories here in 2021 still continue in 2022 and all the bad things, just leave it here in 2021 and hopefully you will, yeah, be better in 2022. All right, before I dismiss this class, I st we still have additional announcements from the Zone General Election Commission, yeah, from KPU. Yeah, it's your stage, Miss Mariani Marzella. All right. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, everyone. Don't leave. <laughs> don't leave before yeah, I share leave, this, yeah. Yeah, this uh, information because I have a good information from General Election Commissioner. Uh, okay. Hi, my name is Ani. Thank you uh, for coming to this uh, fun Saturday class. All right, guys, so uh, as you know that, um, okay, let me share my screen first. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hang on. Okay, what's the problem? All right, guys, so as you know that uh, today we still uh, running the presidential election and we need your participation to to give your food because um, future listeners uh, depends on you depends on who's going to lead uh, our beloved committee next year and um, if you don't mind I will give you two minutes to give you food through this link through the chat box link okay everyone I give you two minutes if you uh, think that you have come to with zone class at least three times, then you are eligible to give your voice. Okay, I, I will uh, let you choose your future leaders in two minutes. So it won't it won't take you uh, a day. It's just two minutes. So please, guys, give your vote. Okay. All right. How, how so far the link, can you guys click the link? 
Yes, the same link that was attached on IG. Why, Beverly? You cannot click the link? Is there any no, problem? Because, no, because I've done <laughs> yesterday. Oh, you, oh yeah. you've done. Wow, thank you, Beverly. How about the others? Come on, guys. Kenanga, what about you? Why are you smiling? I have done it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yayan. I only joined Brit Zone class uh, once, and this is my first time, so I'm not any Oh, bro. so sad. All right, Kenanga. But just, just uh, watch uh, the announcement later on, okay? Here. I put it, I put it, wow. Okay, come on, guys. One minute left. How about you, Amanda? Have you have you voted? Okay, I think my Amanda is away from her laptop. Okay, already. Oh, Amanda, thank you. What about you, Media Haris, Erika, Novia, Fahmi? And Miss Conductor, Yasrin. Have oh, yeah. You? How about you, Yasrin? <laughs> oh, of course, she's already voted. I'm done. Yeah. All right, then, guys. Yesterday, Danny, wow. Thank I you. had been yeah. voted yesterday at oh. Friday. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving your vote. You're it means welcome. that you care for Bridgestone. All right, guys, if you um, haven't voted yet, you uh, don't worry. You can find the link on our IG. And if you find uh, problems when you try to give your vote, just contact us. There will be a uh, you know, contact person. So we will help you there. All right, I think that's all from me, Dika. I cannot share my screen. All right, thank you, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Okay, thank you, Ani from General Election Commission from Bitzone. Yeah, thank you for all your votes. Yeah, because your votes, yeah, def defines the Bitzone future. Yeah. And then once again, I remind you this is our last online session. Thank you for everyone who has joined today and then for Yasrin as a conductor. And next week we will serve offline. So if your domicile is around Jabodetabek, yeah, please welcome to join us in offline. Wow, can wait. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we need to reschedule. Yeah, uh, the class will be started at 2, p 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Yeah, because yeah, the venue is being used by other communities at the regular time, 11 to 1. So once again, thank you so much, uh, Yasrin and our participants here. Now we have met to the end of the class. So Diki Adiatma, please yeah, help us to take the picture. OK, Kadika, uh, I will help you. Uh, OK, everyone, if please open your camera and give your base post so you can uh, be on our instagram and famous <laughs> yes. okay hey, Fahmi, uh, afghan uh, and lofia please afghan, open your lofia, camera Fahmi, please open your camera okay kanofia okay maybe i will count uh, until three uh, and give your best post guys yeah. one two three one two three okay that's all i think uh back to you kadika all right thank you uh, for the participants who have joined our class today yeah you can leave right now